It is an incredible story that you'll only see here on Local 4. A Florida woman is crediting doctors here at Ascension Providence for saving her life. So her brother and her sister here in Michigan died from aneurysms just three months apart. So earlier this year, Ascension doctors encouraged her to get screened. And as our Megan Wood shows us, she had one too. That Florida woman is Abby Marazinski. She was able to get that aneurysm repaired while also getting the rest of her family screened. And now she's hoping their story can help others. You know, I've had so many people say to me, well, you know what, Abby, in the long run, your sister saved your life. And it's a very hard thing to listen to because it that was a great sacrifice. Abby Morozinski still can't believe it. Her brother Jeff died in May after driving off the road, and she says it was unlike him, and she wondered if he had some sort of aneurysm burst. By August, Abby and one of her sisters, Susie, were getting close to getting answers. Her and I were really waiting the, for the results of the autopsy. She said, I will drive up to Saginaw and get it. And I said, no, it's complicated. They want to email it. Um, she was very frustrated. Two days later, Susie was getting rushed to Ascension Providence Hospital, her daughter calling Abby with updates. She said, Aunt Abby, she said, it's a ruptured aneurysm. And I said, oh my God, oh my God. Susie had no idea that she had an aneurysm. An aneurysm is a ballooning of uh, the, bl the blood vessel wall. So the blood vessels are kind of like the pipes that bring the blood to our brain. And as that balloon expands at a certain point, which can't really be predicted, that balloon can pop, unfortunately, and cause a bleeding stroke on the brain. Abby flew to Michigan to be by Susie's side. One of the first questions that a doctor asked me was, has the family been screened? And I said, well, no. Usually when there's a, a two primary relatives, um, even in cases where there's one primary relative, patients can have an increased risk of having these uh, aneurysms of the blood vessels of the brain, which in, in essence can be a ticking time bomb, especially if you don't know that you have it. After nine days in the hospital, Susie had passed away. And a few days after that, her brother's autopsy came back saying he had an abdominal aortic aneurysm. When Abby was screened, doctors found an aneurysm in the same place Susie's was. In just weeks, she got it prepared with no problems. This kind of speaks to the, um, the kind of the care that we get at Ascension, the, the, the taking care of the whole patient, and, and everyone was, you know, ecstatic, actually. I mean, you know, that, that we know that she got helped. Now, Abby has a message for others. People need to know. People need to know their family's history, too. It's an important thing for people to ask questions. Before all of this, Abby did know that her mother had an aneurysm burst years ago, but she survived. She also learned along this journey that her grandmother had one, too. So she's hoping that this story prompts other people to have important conversations with their family. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Incredible story. Megan, thank you. Symptoms of a bleeding aneurysm are described by doctors as the worst a headache of your life could feel like and trouble focusing on top of that with your vision.